Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, still here in the O10 Lounge at Open World 2014, bringing you another tech tip. I'm Dan Vlamis, president of Vlamis Software Solutions, and we're going to talk today about data visualization for Oracle BI 11G. Your two minutes starts now. Super. What I would say, one thing for tips, use smaller tables instead of larger tables for dashboards with broad audiences. Make sure you don't put fonts in color. Instead, use black and white text with a background color. Next one is eliminate grid lines in table and pivot table views. You can save time uh, when you're doing this by setting the default for commonly used columns to no borders. Use padding and white space to organize tables and make them quickly scannable by your users. Design your dashboards with a maximum, with a, about 60% graphs, max about 40% of the time with tables. For graphs, use bar graphs to contrast nominal dimensions such as region. You want to use a hor horizontal bar graphs when you have especially long labels. You want to design line graphs with a continuous value such as time on the x-axis. Add scale markers to bar graphs and scale range markers to line graphs to add context for your viewers. Provide titles on your graphs for maximum meaning for users, not just your developers. For complex type of filters, use subtitles and narrative views to provide the necessary context. Um, use the website colorbrewer2.org to select color palettes for both maps and graphs. Use map views for data that contains geographic information like addresses. Make sure, okay, make sure users are aware of what filters and selection steps have been applied. Use narrative views rather than filter views for complex type of filters. Learn D3, it's cool. Don't put anything in motion that isn't critically important. Use BI Publisher for pixel perfect creation and schedule a data, versa, data, data visualization workshop with experts. Thanks a lot, Dan. Thank you.